the best retirement advice ever from actual retirees. I've got seven great pieces of advice that I'm gonna get into in a second. First of all, a little thing about YouTube financial advice. There's some good and bad out there, guys. You have to be very careful, especially on some of these people that call themselves financial advisors. I'm not a financial advisor. I've told you that, I've been upfront from the beginning. I'm just telling you what's worked best for me in retirement. And what I tend to go by is people that have retired already, I, I rely on their advice because they know what works and what doesn't. Be very careful for some of those people on, on YouTube claim to be financial advisors. Some are, some have great advice, but the ones that aren't retired yet, well, it's not really hard advice, is it? Here are the seven points, best points of advice I've ever heard from people that are already retired. Sorry, it's a little windy out here in the high desert today and my voice is suffering as well. Number one, know the retirement lifestyle you will need in retirement before you retired. Very critical. You have to know, are you gonna be in are you gonna be comfortable going in there on, you know, minimum expenses? Or are you gonna need like five thousand, six thousand thousand dollars a month in order to have a good retirement? You have to know that before you get in there. If you get in there and decide, oh man, I really undersold this whole thing. My expenses aren't gonna be 2,500, they're gonna be 5,000 a month. You're screwed. Don't let that happen, guys. You have to decide way ahead of time what your retirement lifestyle will be like. Is it gonna be luxury or is it gonna be modest? Somewhere in between. Figure that out, very important. The second, start saving ASAP. ASAP, for those of my younger viewers, Start saving now. If you're in your 20s, early 20s, start saving now. You can never have too much money in retirement. Start saving as early as possible. For my regular uh, subscribers, no, I didn't start till I was 40. Yeah, I regret it. Yeah, I'm living on modest income and I can do it. Would I like to have more? Absolutely. You know, it's not like I'm penny pinching, but yeah, you'd, be, you'd like to be able to have more and just, you know, be a little more comfortable, right? So you wouldn't have to look at your funds every single week. I'm getting better on that, but still it can be an issue at times. Number three, engage in a purposeful activity in retirement. What do I mean by purposeful? I mean, you can do stuff like, you know, learn a new language, uh, go out and get yourself in shape, whatever. If it's purposeful, that gives you a purpose. Something like volunteering at an animal rescue place. I mean, that's huge, right? I, I notice that I say huge a lot of these videos. You guys ever notice that? I'll try and change that. Or maybe not, maybe I'll keep it. Um, you know, uh, volunteer for uh, seniors. When my mother, right before she retired, she was volunteering as someone who drove senior citizens around. And she was 87 when she was doing this. She would have people that were like, you know, early 60s that couldn't drive anymore. She did a volunteer position driving retired people around to do their groceries, to their medical appointments. She got so much satisfaction out of that. I mean, it just totally filled a big part of her life. It really did. If you can find something that is meaningful, purposeful, that'll just help you so much more in retirement. It'll give more meaning to your life, okay? You can have tons of activities. Make sure something's kind of purposeful. It'll help. Number four, and this is huge. This is a big one. Do not compare yourself to others in retirement. If you have friends, that have retired, uh, you know, same age as you, maybe a little earlier, maybe a little later, whatever. And they have this huge vacation filled here. There goes huge again. Can I, maybe I'll insert like a different, like a thesaurus up in my head. What do you think? Good idea. They might be taking five vacations a year in retirement. Not you, if you're a moderate income, not you. Um, you know, they might have a new car every two years. Well, retirees that I've spoken to and have read about saying the biggest thing, one of the biggest things is do not compare yourself to others in retirement. You retire, I'm getting eaten up by ants here. You retire on whatever is comfortable for you. Once you do that, live on what you got. 
If you're not comfortable with it, bring something in part-time. Do a YouTube channel like I'm doing, something like that, just to bring in spare money, you know? But do not, do not compare yourself to others in retirement. Setting yourself up for a fall by doing that. Number five, retire as soon as you're ready to retire. A lot of retirees, they regret staying in the workforce for an additional two, three, five, sometimes even 10 years. Not too many are gonna look back and go, oh, you know what, I'm glad I worked that extra six years. No, you're young, you're young only once. Retire as soon as you feel able to retire. That doesn't mean going to retirement totally unprepared financially or whatever. As soon as you're ready to retire, pull the switch, do it, retire. You won't have any regrets. Are you gonna look back later in life, say, you know what, I should have worked another year for another $60,000? Or will you look back and say, you know what, I wish I retired a couple years earlier so I could have done something before this health malady hit me? Eh, not hard to figure out, right? Number six, find someone to rely on emotionally for emotional support in retirement. Someone or something or some group, if you belong to a church, perfect, right? I go to church, have some great friends there. If you have very strong family members, not all families are very close. If you have close family members, bounce ideas off them. Bounce how you're feeling off them. Form a retirement group or join a retirement group, you know? You need to have some kind of emotional support in retirement, especially if you're single. There are a lot of traps and pitfalls and maybe not even that, but just things that you're not sure about. Or, you know, you have a friend who's retired 10 years ago, things you can bounce th stuff off them because probably they've been there before and done that, right? Find a group or a person or three or four people for emotional support in retirement. It's not all wine and roses, guys. There are some pitfalls in retirement. You need people to talk to. And the seventh, maintain your health. Health obviously is a big, huge issue. A lot of retirees regret that they weren't in the best shape when they retired. Why? A majority of them because they didn't really put any uh, you know emphasis on it not like they were eating you know jack-in-the-box every day but they didn't exercise they didn't really take care of themselves as they should have later in life actually in some cases earlier later in life early 60s mid 60s they started having issues a lot of them say I wish I wouldn't have neglected my health as much as I did that's a big one if you don't have your health, what do you have? You could have you know, millions of dollars in the bank and if you're on 65 years old with all these you know, medical issues, is it gonna be a happy retirement? Probably not. So those are the seven best pieces of advice I've heard and read about for, from retirees. Those are the best people to, to listen to, guys. They've been there, they've done that. They know what to do and what not to do. They know what they regret, what they didn't regret. So to me, I take a lot of emphasis from that as opposed to people who are advising you who aren't retired yet, okay? Anyway, guys, just remember, take all these pieces of advice and go with them or not if you want, but just feel comfortable about your retirement. Feel good about where you are, financially, emotionally, whatever. And just remember, as always, we got this.